I was, like, bro, I was, I was positive I was gonna get a, a <laughs> triple three stock by Fireball and you know, fist bump me in his dapper little suit. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. I was a uh, <laughs> definitely All not right, looking Gouda. forward to that. <laughs> Do you have much info on Gouda? I know he. No that, idea, bro. Uh, I, thought this was, I thought this was the Pokebrin guy. That I, been I thought out. I thought it was Pokebrin so, too for a second, and so I was I'm like, you look a little lost. bit different. Yeah, I'm um, completely lost. Firebolt was telling me he's from Kansas City. Okay. Uh, they hosted a house tourney at one point. Um, I played. House? I played uh, Gouda a little bit in friendlies before tournament. Uh -huh. Um, Marth, his Marth's not too bad. For sure. Uh, he's definitely more of a swinger than a grabber. Yeah. So, just. Yeah, not when, gonna when a Marth is like that, you got to be smooth on your mm -hmm. L cancels, all that. So Exactly. Um, Can't make any mistakes. Got to have good fade in and out. Got to be mixing that up there. Especially with Parched. I mean, Parched is closing. He's so fast on all of his follow-ups. Yeah, so it's like Parched is a Marth Slayer for sure. There is, oh, uh, man. You got to be at a certain level to even uh, crack Challenge Parched. him. Yeah, Challenge him with Marth. Parched. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, even like that, just doing so well, dash dancing out of this Nair approach, he's he's just putting himself in advantage. Yeah, there's not a lot that Marth can do in these situations he's putting himself in, so Parch taking advantage uh, and holding him down, locking him down. Oh, barely misses that. Parch was doing really good getting the weak hit there since of the hard hit to get, really get that um, pillar shine combo for Marth. Mm -hmm. That can be really tricky sometimes, especially on flatter stages. Yeah. Ooh, just runs out, but it gets up there and gets it. Oh, this is the last turn in March. Let's go. It never ends, baby. <laughs> Time always rolls on. Crossover uh, 2020 till <laughs> infinity. <laughs> we'll all be 80, still showing up the WSU playing melee. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. At least tell them about. <laughs> 35, 40. <laughs> and even then, you just move to the smash box, so then you exactly. got the, your hand, you're like, my hands are still good. I'll be rejuvenated. I'll start cheating as long as we can <laughs> keep doing that. But, I don't Nailing know. Nailing every SDI think. input. Press one if box is cheating. <laughs> I don't know. I never really had an opinion on the box, Man. like, cheating thing. I'm, I just always said I'm not good enough to have an opinion on it. I'm like, cool, they can SDI easier. Is that the only thing? I'm like, all right, cool, uh, I guess. It's really, it's, it's just different stuff, bro. You're not playing against, you're not playing against a, a controller fox. Like, I'm a box hater for sure. That, <laughs> that stuff is not, it is not fair. And you guys shouldn't do that. If you got any any thoughts in your head, you got no medical problems or anything like that, definitely do not get that. Definitely do not get that. Hey, just always go, always make fun of box players, though. Exactly. You see a box player playing totally in a tournament. Just make fun of so them. I'm be saying. like, you, you type well, in an essay? What are you doing? Like, like, be respectful, but let them know they're a cheater, okay? Oh, yeah. Make fun of them, but make fun of them in, like, humorous, kind of jokey ways that doesn't hurt their feelings. Exactly. You're winning on a loophole, bro, all right? Like, you like you go, you're, like, really close game against a box player, and then you win, and you're like, man, typing like that essay was due at midnight, man. Exactly. You were typing up a storm trying to beat me. Like, Anybody trying to hear that? Anybody trying to hear that? <laughs> okay, we got we got Gouda though taking the lead right here. Gets shine spiked by Falco. That's gotta hurt the head. That's pseudo pseudo shine spike from Falco, just using the stage to spike him into the ground. Gouda not necessarily having the chain grabs for Marth, but still using these up tilts the for good follow-ups. See, that's like, how is that not a tipper? That's crazy. I need to go in Uncle Punch slow-mo. Okay, that's that's a real Marth stock right there. That's a real solid Marth stock on FD. Let's see what uh, Parch can do here, if he can answer it back. He's just letting it rip, bro. He's an up tilter and let it go. It's crazy just the fact that with FD having no platforms, nothing, it's like your punish game is almost gets more simplified Ooh. on FD. Ooh. Gets down there. Uh, Falco doesn't have any fire or anything, so. Guy just eat that reverse hit d Dolphin Slash. All right, air dodge to get back on. I think Parch can cook for these three stocks. Let's see. Just DI away, bro. <laughs> You're too scared. It's my last stock. Exactly. I don't want to go away. Oh, no. Going to eat the F smash, but not a tipper, so you're going to live it. Good Nair beating out Marsnare. 
I mean, cause oh, he's not, no. cause he's not chain grabbing, like, just DI the up tilt and you should be good. Yeah, he's not necessarily doing, like, chain grabs, he's doing just chain grab up tilt, or up throw up, or into up, throw, up, up tilt, tilt, and yeah. then just kind of, but when Falco's at like that 40, 50 percent, you get popped up by the up tilt and just following up with a fair, mm -hmm. even F smash on a couple of those just to kind of keep his combo game going. Yeah, he's doing a, he's doing the quirky Marth for sure. So you got to be able to beat the quirky Marth. It's a, a, an archetype that will appear many times in melee. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I think I think if I'm Gouda, especially on Dreamland at this situation with how good FD went, I almost want to play solely like almost center stage of Dreamland. Because yeah. that's like, the platforms are so far away, it's like, all yeah, right, I have my own little that FD section, here. <laughs> that section of uh, Dreamland is definitely FD that's right That's the here. final destination exactly. zone. I'm like, all right, I'm just going right? to play this oh, zone. He's, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. <laughs> doing it again. He's doing his, bread, his FD bread and butter right in the zone. Oh, we know what we're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, so I just I would just hover in that range and then just be like, all right, if he's gonna jump from platforms, just gotta time an up tilt something to keep box him out. Okay. And then from there, just playing my ground game. Something different for the up tilt. Nice. Okay. Ooh. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing, bro. He's warming up. Okay. Nice. Like completely. Still uh, able to hold on to that stock after that Falco dare. But there was from the ceiling, so Dreamland saving him there. Any sta from, any other from, stage, from you'd the way, be dead. From the way you don't expect, Dreamland is saving him. Oh yeah, <laughs> that that bottom part of the stage is way way down there. It's in the depths, exactly. so you got a lot of time to get out of the hit stun of that dare, especially when Falco hits you above that top plat. <laughs> nice check chase, the full tipper that time. Nice, bro. He's doing a really good job on getting these uh, platform uh, follow-ups on parts, just throwing out a good aerial to hit him there. Um, I noticed a lot when he was missing that fair, he's throwing it and up air to kind of keep it, keep that flow going. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even. We got a Gouda fan. Oh no, part oh, no. with the drop ledge dash. All time all to put good, in some work. Just, time uh, to put in the work. Just lock in, just lock in, Parks. That's all you. I like the uh, the down tilt attempt there. Would have been would have been the kill for sure. But shield and Marth gets around it. Ooh, reverse right. that this reverse laser to edge edge cancel. This is <laughs> a uh, this is a big stock for the set for sure. Uh, I don't really like that follow up on that up throw. Going for fair. Yeah. I mean, Falco was up there, but he wasn't that far up <laughs> to get that type of follow up. That should be good. Double yeah, dare is just going to close that one out. Yeah. Cleans it up. <laughs> okay, okay. Pokemon Stadium. Not too bad of a counter pick here. Yeah. It's pretty much FD. You got FD light. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those side platforms too on Stadium, they're just so small. It's like you don't really get Marth, too much yeah, off Marth of them. Can, it's like Mark can do anything. Mark can scratch his butt and hit you. Oh uh, yeah, they're as so long as he's below you. Too. Oh my god. Yeah. Arch doing so good at just doing his uh, invincibility on ledge refresh and just covering these with these bears so well. Ooh, that's a hard call out right there. But yeah, can't double jump up right there. Okay, getting the power shields in. I think what Parsha is doing really well is shooting these high lasers because uh, Gouda is not really doing a lot of dashing, so Mars not low profiling these high lasers. Yeah. So it's almost like uh, almost when I play neutral against Mars, I play like a 50-50 of like, are you gonna jump at me or are you gonna dash at me? If you dash, shooting low. Jump, I'm shooting high. So it's like almost you're calling them out with your lasers, and Parsha just reading that he's not really dashing into them, so he's I'm just gonna shoot these it. highs. Keeping this even though. Ah, I'm not. This Parse is not playing bad or anything. This is just good melee right here. He's doing so well, especially like holding these dash dancing, uh, just w kind of waiting, being patient, and like, all right, he did something, and 
I'm gonna come in and punish it. But a that little SD, too, <laughs> little too late. That's what I'm saying. Turn the turn no. the heat down just a, just a bit, buddy. Just a bit. All right. Working that time. Perfect. All right. Working breathe. Breathe. Time. Breathe. He, he, you're good. You're yeah. good. Hold on. It's a. It's 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 like a sign of like like making things right whenever you do the same thing that you just got <laughs> SD for and just making it like you get it right. Exactly. You hang out. Cl clearing your debts with the melee gods. Like, see, I know I can do it. Man, Marth at 102, really almost anything here. Could start looking for bear. There you go. That down that tilt he was out. looking for all game would have hit there. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. GG's. Wow, Gouda actually having less openings per kill than Parch. It's actually kind of shocking. I would have guessed Gouda had needed more openings. He was hitting some crazy ones for sure. Am Early I playing kill now? zero. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go get a water. Or I'm going to water and a beer. I'll be back. There you go.